Imagine having the ability to walk outside and as you gaze up towards the sky, you see the temperature, weekly forecast, and your agenda for the day creep into your view. This is the kind of future that Mojo Vision has secretly been working on for the past five years. A future where you basically have a heads-up display in your vision similar to many video games that subtly presents information to you when you need it. This seems to be what technology is trending towards. If we look at the world today, we're surrounded with screens, TVs, laptops, smartphones, and tablets. For the better part of the past decade, we've relied mostly on some sort of screen to interact with computers. As such, we've had to deal with ads, notifications, funny cat videos, and other rabbit holes we might find ourselves being distracted by. But the kind of technology that is being developed now paints a different picture for the future. One that aims to minimize distractions and make the technology feel more invisible. In previous videos, we talked about how Neuralink's brain interfaces are augmenting your brain to communicate with computers from just your thoughts. We also looked at how smart tattoos are being developed to augment your skin to monitor your health and control computers. And now, we have a technology that's trying to augment your eyes to present you with useful information more naturally and even enable you to see things you normally wouldn't be able to see. Mojo Vision has quietly been working on these smart contact lenses for the past five years. It features a low-powered micro-display with eye tracking that lets the user see augmented reality. It communicates with a computational box that must be carried by the wearer, and eventually, they're working towards having these contact lenses communicate directly with your smartphone and connect with the apps you have installed. They've developed some prototypes that they've been testing out and working closely with the FDA to prioritize safety before they go to market, which as you can imagine, having a battery-powered computer sitting right on your retina is something that many might find concerning. But seeing as how contact lenses are regulated as medical devices in the US and EU, which have very strict standards, this technology would need to go through some serious safety tests before it reaches any consumer. And the first batch of consumers will likely be first responders, like a firefighter out in the field who would be able to see situational things like how much oxygen is left in their tank, or an EMT transporting a patient into the emergency room while trying to analyze what treatment they need to provide. Then there's also people suffering with vision impairments, like blindness, that could use these smart contact lenses to outline people and objects that would allow them to see more clearly and navigate their surroundings. In fact, not only can these contact lenses help in restoring vision, it may also be able to enhance it by giving you the ability to see in the dark or zoom in on things. Can you imagine just looking up at the stars in the night sky and being able to zoom in on the distant galaxies? But what might be even more interesting is what happens when you close your eyes. Virtual reality happens. Or at least that's how Mojo Vision's SVP of Product and Marketing Steve Sinclair describes it in a recent interview where he talks about how he was able to play a card game with his eyes closed and having a camera framing the cards that were on the table which was streaming the images into his lenses. I guess this would make cheating on exams a lot easier now too. Sure, it's not quite the virtual reality world we come to expect, capable of playing Beat Saber or VR chat, but something more primitive. It is a long ways to go to be able to produce anything of that graphical standard, but it does project a possibility of a very interesting future. One where we can seamlessly move into different worlds and interact with the people in those worlds at the blink of an eye. Imagine talking to a friend in person, and then when you close your eyes, you're FaceTiming your grandma from a different country and having a conversation with her. Now that might be a little far up in the clouds to be talking about now, so let's look at what we can expect in terms of timelines. Here is Mojo Vision's roadmap. We can see that they've created a wearable lens and now they're working towards creating all the features such as eye tracking and computer vision, which is needed for the lens to auto-suggest relevant information. In a recent interview, Steve Sinclair mentioned that he thinks they will be product ready within five years. And the first consumers for this will be for people with eye impairments and then enterprises like hospitality, logistics, and military. And then once those enterprises have adopted this, it will finally become available for mass market adoption. Clearly, it is a long ways away until we can get our hands on these, but maybe not as far as we initially thought. You'd think this technology would be like 20, 30 years away or something like that, especially when there hasn't been mass market adoption for augmented and virtual reality devices yet, which is still very young. Yet it looks like these contact lenses, which you'd think would be the evolution for AR and VR headsets, 
are advancing closely right behind it. And with this trend that we're seeing with technology trying to augment and transform our bodies, I wonder what our world will look like when all of these start to hit the market at the same time. What does that future look like and what are we turning ourselves into? Let me know what you think in the comments below and like and subscribe for more.